And then next turn, I click Waterfall and Icy Wind and Waterfall and Icy Wind and Waterfall and Icy Wind. What are you doing? I uh, just session of recording with this Wo Chen team that I made. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous video, this is the Wo Chen team that I've been running basically for the entire season. Actually, there are many variants of this team. I wouldn't even argue this is the best variant. It's just the one that I'm most recent at using or that I've most recently used, uh, therefore making it the best one that I can play at the moment. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to, you know, if, if you want to like get the full details of this team, uh, the, you know, the full breakdown is going to be on my Patreon uh, either tomorrow or today. I don't know when. Um, or it might already be up for all we know. Uh, and if you guys want the rental code, it's actually in the previous video. I don't want to have to pop it up again. I'm already recording. Anyways, let's get into it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, um, and answer my comment question of the day, which is going to be, out of all the water types in this format, except for Palafin, because I, I know Palafin's probably going to be number one, what do you think is the best? I actually think Gyarados is a strong contender for number one. I, I The best. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> Our opponent, it, oh. what is he cooking? What? I, you can't Dynamax, Max Guard, copycat anymore. What? He, what is it? What is he doing? I don't like it. Um, you know, I actually I hate this. What? I'm gonna sue this guy. What are you doing? Tell me your secrets, question mark. Uh-huh. Um, let's do this. Do I want the Wo Chen in the back here? I actually don't think Wo Chen's that good. Either is Garganical in this matchup. Let's do this. We're going to offense mode. This is my offense mode, by the way. Hi, here's the offense mode. All right. Here's Flutter Bundle. I have Flutter Gera. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a certified I'm going to Thunder Wave you moment. This is a certified Thunder Wave your Pokemon moment. And I get the most value out of um, probably Thunder Waving the Flutter main here. And Protect. And the next turn, I click Waterfall and Icy Wind and Waterfall and Icy Wind and Waterfall and Icy Wind. What are you doing? Okay, it's just Flutter. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. Look, as long as I don't get frozen here, we're probably good. All right, don't miss your Gyarados. Uh, don't miss your Gyarados Thunder Wave. Don't miss your Thunder Wave, Gyarados. All right, if I get frozen here, the video ends. If I get crit here, the video ends. If I miss here, the video ends. <laughs> I'm making all the excuses to not record it. <laughs> Every single excuse I can come up with to not record, it's it's getting thrown out today. All right. And now... Actually, I wouldn't mind encoring him into that move. Prevent him from Icy Winding me. But I think I end up losing that exchange if I do that. Let's just Icy Wind. Silly Goose! All right. I hope you didn't need your Fluttermane to move this turn. It's not gonna. That's the uh, Moxie boosted guarantee. Hoggers. All right. Um. How much do you want to bet? 
how much do you want to bet that I can freeze dry this Flutterman in Icy Wind again? Devilishly fiendish Seymour. Uh, I'm going to protect here, actually. That's going to be my, my epic gamer play. And I'm just going to bank on... He's not going to get to move. That's just... I've, I've, I've deemed it so. He's not going to get to move. He's sending in the Gallade? Hello? I'm sending this uh, Iron Bundle into Freeze Dry range. That is my devious plot. Go ahead and go for another Hydro Pump Stinky. Hydro Pump range. Into Freeze Dry range. Yep. Yep, uh, that is the Moxie Boost to guarantee. Your Pokemon will not be moving this turn. Um... Is he going to Trick Room on me? Do I care? I don't think I care. Let's freeze dry. I could send in the Chi Yu, but that might be a throw. Well, it's not within freeze dry range. I'm not either, though. Can I flinch here? That'd be so poggers. 100% skill. Check it out. Psycho Cut. That's fine, actually. I just win. Yeah, no, I click Dazzling Gleam. I win. Unless he has Shadow Sneak on the Gallade, but I don't think it matters anymore. I, I don't think he can one-shot me. I click Dazzling Gleam. I click the button that wins you the game. Boop. Boop. There's no way a Shadow Sneak KO is my guy. I, um, I didn't know he got that. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't know he got that. It's pretty bad. Miss. You, you should miss now. I, I didn't know he got that. Oh, who will it be? Iron Bundle? That's fine, actually. No, now I can, like, totally win. I can totally win. Hold on. Let's go into Chi Yu. Let's click the freeze dry. <laughs> and I will no longer need to lock into that that awful move. That that move that makes you sad. Look at it again. Look at it again. Clicked it again. All right, nice. I don't care how lucky I got in this game. It is skill, and I will get fissured later in this video to make up for it. I guarantee you. That one's not actually guaranteed. In fact, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. But, you know, you know how it is in the industry. In the industry. Okay. So... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click Dark Pulse into the Glade and protect here. And if they want to get silly with me um, I'm in like Nasty Pot, I'm just going to Encore. Because despite everything, we still haven't gotten a speed drop on our, on our Iron Bundle. At least I don't think we have. I might be stupid. Let me check. Let me check. Next turn, I'll check. Terra Water, Terra Blast incoming. Oh, they're Scarf. Or actually, they might, they might just be Timid. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, because the Flutter Man's paralyzed. Um... I basically just get to click my move. Did I get speed dropped? I didn't get speed dropped. Yeah, we're good. Um, should just be able to Dark Pulse and Icy Wind. And that should secure me the game. And the reason I Icy Wind here is because I need to... It's 
if it is Scarf Chi Yu, I need to make sure that my Fluttermane always outspeeds. That is that is the reason we do that. And I Dark Pulse the Fluttermane because if that Icy Wind didn't KO, I would lose. Yep, it is Scarf. So I made the right decision. And now uh, this Chi Yu just drops to Dark Pulse plus, uh, plus Moonblast. All right. Specs to you. Send them to the poop dimension. Why am I heat waving? Dark pulse. Boom blast. They got to get the nastiest crit of all time to KO me. Nice little spatak drop. All skill. It didn't do anything. All right, good game. I would I would say they probably disagree, but good game. Okay. Also, my light is too bright. There we go. That's still a little bright. There we go. To battling. See, we're climbing out of the depths of that ranking that we started off at. I think we started off in Master Ball at like 1500. But yeah, no, it's it's a it's a pretty fun team. Also, Pokemon Home comes out on the 30th. You're welcome. I did that. All right. Um, we're just facing like New Balance. Let's see. Yeah, the Gyarados lead here is like extremely solid. Um, actually, Gyarados plus Chi Yu lead, they just don't have anything for that, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, the Wo Chen end game seems pretty solid, and. Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, why wouldn't I just lead off with, you know what? We're going to do offense mode again. We're going to do offense mode again. I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, why don't I just lead off with this? Why don't I just click moves, you know? Do I bring the Wo Chen this game? They don't have a trick room mode. Let's bring, uh, let's, let's bring the, let's bring the, uh, all right. If I'm being optimal, I bring, I bring the, the, the flutter. Okay. But I don't play optimal. There we go. I don't play optimal. Don't be silly. Some people ask me what my play style is. I like to call it silly. Hands Chi Yu. I have fumbled the bag so hard. Um, let's do this. We're going to do the classic Moxie boosted double protect. I could also go hard Gyarados here and protect, and that actually might just be better. It gives me some momentum. And if they want to go for a fake out, it incentivizes them to want to stay in. So I can do the silly. Silly. Yeah, I mean, like, any other lead, I, I would have felt comfortable just Terra ghosting and, like, doubling an Amoongus. And by any other lead, I mean the Amoongus lead.
It'd be so super cool if they could like waste their terror right now. Please fake out. All right, welcome to Silly Goose Academy, buddy. Oh yeah, welcome to Silly Goose Academy, buddy. Check this out. Let's go for the waterfall. Um, that's already a neutral hit. I'm just gonna encore him into fake out because he's gonna want to stay in here. That's my that's my moxie boost to guarantee. He's staying in. He's tearing. He's tearing. What are you gonna tear, Stinky? Okay, it's gonna be terra water, but. Terra Grass? That's doable. If I live this, this is very doable. I have a solid chance of living this. I have a lot of spit F. Granted, this is single target, and they might just be like Life Orb, so I don't live it. I don't live it. <laughs> I don't live it. Um, but I still have my guy, so, you know. As they continue to use Fake Out like a silly little guy. I'm going to send in my Chiyu, and I'm going to click Heat Wave, and they're going to drop and feel very dumb. And what on their team takes Waterfall plus Heat Wave? I'm going to give you a hint. Um, okay, so Gyarados does, but we're going to pretend I didn't see that. Nothing does! <laughs> We're going to pretend I didn't see a Gyarados on their team. They didn't bring it. They brought Scizor. I think they brought Scizor. I think that they know Scizor does really well into my team. There is no Gyarados on their team. You're stupid. And it doesn't want to eat the hit. Let's be real. It doesn't, it doesn't want to eat the hit. I kind of have them in a lock here, don't I? All right, please let it be like Amoongus. All right, it's Fluttermane. No, Fluttermane's gone. Deceased. As long as I land this heat wave. As long as I land this heat wave, we're balling. Not gonna do anything. Balling. We are balling. This should do 50%. It's, it's literally Gyarados. He's, he's literally Gyarados. And you're literally Fluttermane. Nice. All right. This guy's a graduate of Silly Goose Academy. Yep, there's Scizor. <laughs> he's about to find out I'm Covert Cloak and he's not going to be happy about it. <laughs> he's not going to be happy about it, guys. Um, Let's go ahead and double protect. In case they want to protect their scissor. Actually, is there a point in calling them out here? I don't think there is. I guess I always waterfall this thing in Heat Wave. Do I Terra? I get more value out of Terra uh, Poison Wo Chen in the in the end game. All right. The grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't have been happy, but oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Today has just been a great day for me. I can't wait for the next game for us to fight Palabalance and get fissured by Ting Lu. That's what's going to happen. Just want to let you know. Oh, he's leftovers. Okay, that's, that's an item. I don't think I've seen that one yet on Iron Hands. Let's send in our silly little friend. He's also here. All right, to be honest, I probably should have just heat waved and sent him in because now this won't KO, but if I get the flinch, it's going to be the funniest end game ever. Oh, no, I just KO. Okay, that's fine. All right. Nice. He's also here. Now he gets to be in the thumbnail. Okay.
Let's continue. You're battling. Yay. All right. One more. Let's do one more. I wasn't being serious when I said that thing at the beginning of the video. I just want to let you guys know I wasn't, um, I wasn't being serious, but it's, that might happen here. Um, let me think, let me think here. If they want to lead off with that stupid, um, Dragonite lead, we can win this. By doing this. Do I bring Gyarados? I think I bring Gyarados, yeah. No Wo Chen this game. I'm sorry to inform you, Wo Chen is being left at home. Sorry. I know he hasn't made an appearance this video, but at least we have Gyarados. Who is that? I've never seen that NPC. Dragonite Champ, how please? Oh, I thought it was the goat, but I'm not. I'm just one of the goose in the pond and not even a particularly silly one, bro. Can you not be cork drive? Can you not be all corked up? All right. So the good news is, is he might not be as fast as me or it's at, at least a speed tie. It is at least a speed tie. Bro, I'm just going for it. Mm. Okay. I'm just going for it, bro. I'm just going for it. Can your, like, um, Iron Bundle not have Icy Wind? That'd be so cool. I'm just gonna go for it, bro. I'm, I'm simply different. He went for the Hydro Pump. Wait, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hold on. Did I just win off of that? Why'd you do that? Because I live a Specs Deeglim on my Iron Bundle. I don't know if you do. You definitely don't with the Terra. Am I different? Am I different, bro? I can take this Deeglim. Because I'm different. Yeah, because I'm different. Okay. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm different. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want to be correct. I don't want to be right about what I said earlier. No, I don't want to do this. Okay. So there's no reason to Icy Wind. We should just hit him. We should just... Okay. I'm doing it. I'm clicking it. I'm going to freeze you. I have never seen that Terra. But now I can Thunder Wave it, and that's good. I'm gonna freeze you. Right here. Alright, I'm getting ready to be like rock slided, earthquake, etc. The best outcome is that their last Pokemon's like Amoongus. Alright, earthquake, that's fine. If they're banded, I actually just win. I don't think they're banded though. That would have KO'd my my guy. So they're just not. Alright, uh, let's send in him. That'll disincentivize earthquakes so I can make some pivoty moves. It also gives me an intimidate, which is pretty big. Ooh, getting uh getting a second intimidate versus this duo is actually gonna be really important to winning with the garganical endgame. Let's go for protect here. Just double protect. And if he wants to go for a double protect, or if he wants to protect on me, I can actually encore him and go hard garg. Harg. Harg. Harganical. Harganical. But yeah, that second intimidate almost seems mandatory now. Locking him into a move would also be really nice. 
So I think this uh, Encore is going to be like what wins us the game. Yes! Okay, he protected. So now I can lock him into like Sucker Punch or whatever. Because he's going to want a Sucker Punch. There's the Earthquake. He's not going to Earthquake this turn because it's bad for him. It's bad for his health. I don't know if you know that. Um, being in an Earthquake isn't good. Okay. Encore, we're going to go hard Garganical. And that is going to be the first thing I click uh, Salt Cure on. That is the first Salt Cure Pokemon I am targeting. Because the initial damage should do a ton, right? The initial damage should be doing a ton. And I should also get a free swap into my Gyarados next turn because they should probably just KO my, my bundle. Yep, they're locked into Sucker Punch. That's huge. Have fun clicking that. Blast. Okay, can you knock out my bundle? That did more than I'm comfortable with, but I don't mind locking you into that, to be honest. Let's go ahead and lock you into that as well. Have fun clicking this the rest of the game. Or not the rest of the game, but pretty close. Should never drop to this double up. And then I'm free to click recover. God, I love Encore. It's like becoming one of my favorite moves. Oh, and he's Life Orb too. He's not even Sash. Oh my god, he's not even Ironic. Alright, he needs like a Mega Ultra Crit to KO me. Oh, it's in the bundle. That's actually better. That's actually way better for me. All right, um, you are now on a timer. And not, not a good timer, like a bad timer. Like the kind where like, if you don't like KO me before it ends, then you lose. Send in the Gyarados. Let's maximize our winning odds. I'm going to go ahead and click my favorite move in the game, which is Thunder Wave. Bet you didn't know that. And I'm going to recover. We are, uh, we are maxing our odds to win this game. Obviously, they're just going to Sucker Punch Terra Blast now. Thunder Wave, my Garganical is now faster, so my recover goes before his moves. Can't move because he's paralyzed. And now my play is pretty straightforward. I waterfall into that Chen Pao and I go for a Salt Care onto the Ting Lu, and then we always win. Because his Encore is still going. His Encore is still going. And even if he gets this crit on my um, on my Garganical, I'm faster than his Tinglu, so I win by virtue of uh, Salt Care. And the power of Para Flinch. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, that should do it. How much is this going to do? I'm going to say 15%. Mm, yeah, it looks like I was spot on, actually. I don't know. I, I don't know how to do that fraction that quick. Okay. Well, I mean, like, yeah, we just... We just, um, waterfall. 
recover. Get all of our health back. Are we going to end with both of our Pokemon at like almost full health? Or I guess no, Gar Gyarados can't be at full health. Thumbing Tantrum, check this out. Waterfall, salt care our own Gyarados for good measure. Nice. Okay. So three pretty solid games. Did I get pretty lucky in that first one? Yeah. But the rest of it, all skill. All skill, guys. You can't, you can't change my mind. You can't talk me out of that. I earned those wins. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe. I, I wanted to play more hyper offensive today. Um, and I'm lucky I got matchups that allowed me to do that because the last video, yeah, we stalled a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. What's our, what's our rank after this? I'm going to say like 8,000 after like crawling out of that, was it 15,000 hole? 7,000, nice. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, full details on the team on Patreon. Have a nice one. Bye.